Today's date is 61 CE, the death of Boadicea, or Boudicca, depending on how you pronounce it. Boadicea was queen of the Encini tribe of Celtic Britons. Her husband was the king Prastagus. In 43 CE, the Romans invaded Britain under Emperor Claudius, and the Encini tribe allied with the conquerors, hoping to maintain their independence, and they resisted Roman efforts to disarm them in 47 CE. When the king died, his will gave half his fortune to the emperor and half to his daughters. In response, the Romans brutalised the Britons, raped Prasticus' daughters, and Boadicea was lashed. In response to this, Boadicea went on a sort of revenge pub crawl, traversing the country and decimating any Roman settlement she came across. First she targeted Camalodunum, as the city was considered the Roman capital of Britain. She had the city methodically demolished. Then she defeated the 9th Legion in her path. Then she went on to Londinium and burned it down, torturing and killing anyone who did not evacuate. Then she went out to a town called Roalunium, which was now St Albans. The Romans managed to rally in the end, amassing several legions, commanding an army of about 10,000. Tacitus, one of Rome's greatest historians, basically creatively lied and said that Boadicea exhorted her troops during the final battle from a chariot, giving a sort of Braveheart-like speech. Suetonius Paulinus led the Romans, and despite being outnumbered by 80,000 or so Britons, managed to secure an effective battleground that favoured his army. He kept a forest to his back to prevent the queen from bringing her full army to bear on his smaller force. The forest opened out onto a large plain, perfect for Bodicea's troops, and she led them across it. But as they approached the forest, their army had to become more tightly packed. The Romans then threw as many ranged weapons as they could into the densely packed army. With superior armour and weapons, the close quarter fighting that followed favoured the Romans. The cavalry then charged into the flanks of the Britons who scattered and were slaughtered in the subsequent rout. The site of the battle has been lost to time. The defeat of the Britons consolidated Roman control of southern Britain, while the north remained hostile. To this day, Boadicea is a symbol of rebelling against invaders and oppressors. To remember this date, let's have the Britons and Boadicea's army, and they travel across the land, burning Roman town after Roman town after each subsequent fight. In her wake, she chucks the discarded Roman helmets and shields behind her, and eventually they pile up to spell out today's date with a 6 and a 1. 61 CE, when Boadicea, a queen seeking justice for herself, her daughters and for Britain, was defeated. Thanks for watching.